Audio Jungle. Watch WWE Presents. WWE trying to hide things from its fans is like a donut trying to hide from me. Self fat joke. The internet has made it nearly impossible for the WWE to hide anything, but any wrestling fan who has typed WWE into Google before knows that WWE would like you to not know some certain things, but lucky smarks us, we know them. I'm D Wicked from Watch WWE, and these are the 10 things the WWE hides from you. Number 10, wrestling is fake. It's just too easy to throw at number one, so I'll leave it back here. But wrestling is fake. Even Vince McMahon himself has personally come out and told us that wrestling is fake. Twice! He probably still would like today's casual audience to not know about this, but still, he has said it before. Twice. Wrestling isn't actually fake, it's just scripted, meaning that everything that happens is supposed to happen, matches are predetermined, and overall, the whole professional wrestling thing is much more on the side of sports entertainment nowadays. Number 9. Scripted Promos But hey, come on D-Wicked, at least the promos are real, no. No, no, no. Almost every single word you've ever heard on WWE television, at least nowadays, was either written in a script or is just being told to the commentators as they're saying it. You can make the argument that this should just be a part of number 10, to which my response is F*** off. Number 8, Talent Relationships This one is a little on the fence as some relationships are made very public and are welcomed. John Cena and Nikki Bella, Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, Rusev and Lana, wait, well actually if you remember that horrible summer of 2015 love angle with Ziggler, Rusev, Summer Rae, and Lana, which you shouldn't remember because it was awful, ugh. Rusev and Lana's real life relationship being made public actually messed with the storyline and it had to be scrapped. WWE most likely also doesn't want you to know about other couples like, I don't know, Dean Ambrose and Renee Young, or... Michael Cole and Heidenreich. Number 7, The Purpose of Referees Why, D wicked you silly goose, they call the matches, count the pinfall, and relay the rules to the wrestlers during matches. Well, no. Actually, when you see a referee talking to a wrestler, he's communicating between the two wrestlers for them, telling them what spot or big move is going to happen next. Yes, every now and then you will see a counting to five on the ropes or Mike Kyoto saying, you can't do that, but about 80% of it is playing messenger. Oh, and they're f***ing glass cannons. Number 6, Gimmicks Gimmick is an insider wrestling term that basically means whatever a wrestler portrays. Dean Ambrose's gimmick is that of a crazy, unstable madman. Stone Cold's gimmick was an anti-authority rebel who attacked the boss constantly, and Stardust's gimmick was... Uh, well, you, you get the point. What WWE doesn't want you to know is that these aren't the real personality traits of the people. They're just acting. So Dean Ambrose isn't actually crazy. Ooh. Oh, and the names? They're usually not real either. Sorry, Michael McGillicuddy. Number 5, Dropping Ratings. This one is also tricky, as the WWE have skillfully tried to turn this one around. You know, in between segments when you might see something like last week's Raw was more viewed than the NBA, NFL, MLB, NHL, Olympics, Kentucky Derby, and Pornhub all combined. Well, while the ratings for the WWE are good based on TV standards, they don't want you to realize how much they've dropped since the glory days of the Attitude Era. In the year 2000, the average viewership was around 6 million people, and it would often go much higher than that, while nowadays they only get between 2 and 3 million, probably 2.5 million on average. Not insane, but compared to the highs of the company, WWE does not realizing how many more people used to watch compared to nowadays. Number 4, The Entire Past, and by this I mean any storyline that happened before about two weeks ago. WWE hides its past at pretty much every single turn. Stone Cold made to cry from Kurt Angle's threats of being thrown off a bridge? Nope, he's a badass again, no crying here. Hey, Vincent aired a vignette on SmackDown but still hasn't appeared in the last 8 years on television? Hate who? GTV? Sorry, what is that? Not to mention the gimmick changes, when Husky Harris turns into Bray Wyatt or Michael McGillicuddy, hello again Michael McGillicuddy, turns into Curtis Axel. WWE expect us to completely forgot they ever existed even though they look the exact same. I mean, unless you're getting facial reconstruction surgery, they're gonna look the same. Surprisingly, Kane does not answer to the Christmas creature, Isaac Yankum, or fake Diesel these days. Number 3, the entire past, and this time I mean anything that seems to happen in real life that affects the WWE. Hulk Hogan, gone. Muhammad Hassan, dead. Chris Benoit, never mentioned again. WWE, you coward. Number 2, the drug use. Brock Lesnar doesn't look like Brock Lesnar for no reason, damn it. He used steroids. Ultimate Warrior used steroids. Randy Orton used steroids. Eddie Guerrero used steroids. The goddamn Hurricane used steroids. Jeff Hardy used... 
Well, Jeff Hardy used a bit of everything. Drugs have played pro wrestling for years and will, and will continue to plague it for more years to come. Because just look at Ryback. No. Number one, the hell life that is being a professional wrestler. Some exceptions do exist, but still, being a pro wrestler is insane work. You're gone traveling the country and sometimes different parts of the world for over 300 days a year away from your family, constantly putting your body on the line in extremely dangerous situations night in and night out. Injuries, homesickness, exhaustion, resorting to drug use, all of this happens to almost every single professional wrestler at one point or another, and it's a damn shame that some of the best entertainers in the world will almost certainly end up wheelchair bound, overly concussed, or even worse, dead before they even hit 40. And those are the 10 things WWE hides from you. What are your thoughts? Tell us in the comments below. And if you view Raw more than Pornhub, like the video and subscribe for more hidden wrestling content. I was joking by the way, I actually want likes. Ooh, burn. Thank you all for watching.